everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're surrounded by fifth wheels, and we are taking a look at one of the best top of the line fifth wheels in the entire RV industry. This is a 2022 Mobile Suites DRV model 39 DBR S3. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the DRV and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to be showing you guys another DRV. This one being one of the smallest DRVs, which is crazy because it's still huge. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. Even though we have had one on the show, I believe, before. I have never seen one before, Matt. Like, they have them at the big shows and everything, but it's always too busy for us to walk around. Yes. So I'm excited to take a look at this and see all the likes and dislikes about it. Well, let's see what a DRV is all about. All right. Let's begin. Model is 39 DBRS3. The actual tip tip length is 39 feet 8 inches. The dry weight is sheesh. <laughs> 17,400 wow. pounds. And the pin weight isn't on the specs for some reason. Um, I don't know, but that's a 24,000 pound hitch. Well, yeah, pin weight's gonna be very, very heavy. Sorry, guys, we don't know what it is. If we do know it, we'll, we'll insert it right there. Uh, but check out this front cap. Well, this is built different. Okay, look at this nice seamless fiberglass front cap, and the seams are right here in the side. And uh, they're actually not just glued down, but they're um, screwed down as well. Very interesting. Like, looking at this, you can see that this unit is better than that unit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, as far as quality. Right here, you do have the nice Moride pin box with that hydraulic thing. Right here. Batteries and everything. And here, this is prep for a generator. Very nice. Coming on down the side here, Will. See, we're, oh, by the way, we are Explorer RV USA, and this is tucked in the back corner. But the paint job looks absolutely beautiful. It does. Do so you have a nice power awning with LED lights, frameless windows, okay? Does have six point hydraulic leveling. And then check out this storage, Will. Very good storage. We have tons of storage here. This is awesome. Now, when we go over the MSRP, you guys are gonna think this is crazy. I think it's crazy too. This is a quarter of a million dollar fifth wheel. <clears throat> quarter of a million dollar fifth wheel, okay? Uh, but let me tell you a little bit about some of the mobile suites. Um, a quarter inch foam. Well, I can't do this, you do this, okay. sorry. I'm not a good, guys, I'm a, I'm a seller, not a speller. <laughs> quarter inch foam foam core vapor barrier okay um fully enclosed insulated heated underbelly force team frameless dual dual pane windows nice fully ducted ac system with custom platinum i have no clue what that is platinum obviously. plenum oh -E plenum <laughs> um okay dual ducted low profile ac with soft touch ceiling uh 25 cubic foot refrigerator i'd say i'm gonna hit on some of the big ones so i don't bore you guys um steel ball bearing drawer glides commercial style kitchen style pull down faucets talk about the uh stability of motion okay oh yeah that's good 17 and a half inch goodyear h rated tires kodiak disc brakes more right independent suspension okay 15 inch triple stack box to frame that's crazy because typically it's um 10 to 12 inches oh wow um, and then the superior strength. Glued and screwed aluminum frame structure. Three and a quarter inch thick sidewalls constructed with Asdell. Five eighths inch tongue and groove uh, plywood floor. And half inch tongue and groove plywood roof. Nice. That's yeah. good that they use Asdell as well. It sure is. Cool. And it's good for full timing, guys. Yeah. Warranty for full timing and everything. Did you show that storage? I did, yeah. Nice storage there. Okay. Power on the outside so tacky i'm sorry right this is, i hate these 
I hate these on travel trailers. Right. Here's what's nice. You do have the RV lock, the keyless lock thing. Nice, okay. Oh, really? What the F? <laughs> Leave that in there, Jack. <laughs> Not what the F, what the H. What the hydraulics? No hydraulic steps? Four million dollars, it should have a button you push to put the steps in. Quarter of a million dollars. I want there to be an elevator. Right. Hey. Moving on. Look at these tires, Phil. They're the Goodyear tires. 215-75R17.5. And look, Will, it's like it's independent suspension. Almost. It is independent suspension. Got it, cool, cool. Coming on down the side here. Three-year warranty, frameless window and everything. And then Will. Yeah. Watch your ankles, man. Right. These are ankle breakers. We are in the Alamo, so hopefully there's no rattlers, too. Oh, there's rattlesnakes here? In Texas? I don't know. Damn right there are. A little bit of storage. I don't know, man. That doesn't feel safe. What? The snakes and stuff. Oh. Uh -oh. Coming around here, coming around the back. See what we got going on there. You do have a hitch with a brake controller, so you can tow 3,000 pounds, even though we never recommend that. Uh, no way. What do you have to say? There's no camera for the back. It's not crap. Doesn't mean you can't do one. But come on, it should come with one, honestly. It shouldn't even be prepped. It should already have it. Uh, can't explain that. Let's go up on the roof and check it out. Okay. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece fully walkable roof. Not one, not two, but three air conditioning units. I love that. Right over here is your Razor digital antenna. Careful coming down. It's a big ladder. Great. If you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen will take his fat ass up on a quarter of a million dollar fifth wheel and show you what features the roof has to offer nobody nobody forgot about the reel 50 amp power cord with a reel and there's a light up there to help you if you're hooking up at night right here yep refrigerator access what you tell me what you're seeing Storage. Yeah. Dump station. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Oh, that. What the heck's going on? Right. Instant hot tank is water heater not painted. Wet bay. Okay. Other side of the storage. Very nice. Okay. And here's just going to be propane. That's cool. Yes. It's on a little thing. So it's two propane tanks. And this will slide out. Very nice. Yeah. Until it breaks. That one was user error. Yeah. Well, well, the outside of the DRV. Looks sufficient. Looks sufficient. <laughs> but the inside should look even better. Let's go. Take a look. All right. Careful. Okay, start up front. Up front is the bathroom. Right next to the bedroom right here. Then coming down is the half bath. kitchen looking area and dining area why are you laughing something just came flying off the ceiling <laughs> i saw that well well before we show everybody the inside let's take a quick moment to thank our sponsor lipper 
Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lippert. Did you guys know Lippert does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I want to show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back, you can relax it, you can... You, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Will. Yeah. I don't know how to say this, but this is a DRV. Right. And they're super popular and people love them. I think this is gonna be one of our most interesting videos. I do too. And I really need you guys to come to our defense once we do the three things we like and three things we don't like. And leave down a comment below. Let us know if you agree with us or let us know if you don't know what we're talking about and you disagree with us. Okay. Well, we're gonna get started back here. Sounds good. Very nice quality sofa. I love the colors here. Look, at it's like a dark gray with like this, but then like gold stitching. Yeah. I think that looks really, really nice. Okay. This uh trifold. It is a trifold. Okay, we do got MCD daytime shades here and privacy shades, which is very nice. Cool. Nice looking balances. And can you do the uh tall man storage? Of course, yeah. Those are the Whisper Quiet air conditioning units. Yeah, it is on. nice. They're yeah, on, yeah. Very nice. Plenty of storage. What are those? Do you know? Those are lights. Well, how come they're not on? I couldn't find the light switch. Oh, okay, okay. Because there's some here too. Yep. yep. Very nice. You okay. even have these uh, little side lights here. Oh, you know what it probably is, I bet. I, I, I tried that. Oh, you did? Yep. Huh. I couldn't figure it out. But I also like those the lights are cool. here. Yeah. Yes. And then over here. Very nice storage. We'll just Should get I have yeah, them too. <laughs> yeah. I'm too short for this. Storage there. Yes, and then Will is standing on the slide out and look yeah. how deep it is. It is a very nice deep slide out, plenty of head height. Yes, and then something that I said to Will, I said, Will, your fifth wheel feels wider than this, right? Yeah. But what Will was saying, because the slide outs are so tall, because the fifth wheel is so tall, it might make it appear more narrow. Yeah, and yeah, I do have a wide body. I would assume DRV's doing a wide body, but it doesn't look like it, honestly. Possibly not. Possibly right here, not. we do have theater seats with cup holders here. Okay. Remote holders here, and a wireless cell phone charger there. Okay. We pull this baby up. There we go. Nice recliner seat. Check out that ceiling fan. That is a nice ceiling fan. It is, yeah. And then directly across, Will, is the TV Entertainment Center. Okay. Okay, a little bit of storage right there. Yeah. Storage nice. right there. Insignia sound bar, Furion. Storage right there. And storage right there. Okay. Very nice, slow closed doors as well. Yeah. And then over here, the dinette area, Will, is your table and chairs. Okay. Check Plenty of room. I love that. Yes. Storage. Doors there. Okay. A little bit of storage underneath there. Okay. Uh, Same nice thing table. On the other side. Yep. Nice table. Um, good windows and everything. And then Will, show us that top storage again. Okay. Tons of storage in here. Yeah. There you go. Very nice. Can you go? Hang on. Hang on. Get that one all the way up. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. You just didn't have it all the way open. Yeah. Cool. Well, Will, do you want to show us the kitchen? Of course, but before I do, I want to give a quick reminder to everybody. 
We are now partnered with RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of dealers um, where we sell pretty much every brand, including DRVs now. If there's any, this unit or any other unit that you're looking at that you're interested in purchasing, make sure to go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out one of the three contact me tabs. Matt and I will personally oversee it to make sure that you get an awesome sale price, yep. great service, and a phenomenal buying experience. Perfect, well, let's continue. Okay. All right, we'll start over here. Ah, BRV. BRV. DRV. Jeez. Okay. Nice. Um. Like, what? Uh. What am I trying to say? Spice rack. Yep. You could do there, I guess. And those magnets aren't gonna come open when you're driving down the road. Right about that. Some storage up top. Yep. Nice big insignia refrigerator here. And you know what? Well, this is gonna be some people's first time seeing our videos. I know. Just please check out other videos before you make your opinions about us. Okay, nice uh, freezer. Yes. Yeah, we, we, we always keep it real. Hey, sometimes too real. Sometimes too real. Storage there. Nice Samsung uh, microwave here. Convection microwave. Yes, yes. Um, nice hand laid tile backsplash. That is beautiful, actually. That is, yeah. Yep. And, and guys, you're going to hear us, you know, we're going to call things out. DRV's held to the highest of standards, and that's why, you know, when we say things, we might be a little disappointed just because of that. Yep. Doesn't mean it's it's bad. Correct. Um, nice big insignia cooktop and oven right there. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. Yes, sir. <laughs> Storage right there, drawer right there. Here's what I'm going to say, too. Normally, this would be a huge hate for me. Okay. And I still don't like the idea because I wish it was flush floor, but the way they did that is the only way you could do it. Where the oven is flush with the step here. Yep. Normally it would come out and then you're like leaning over uh, and it's awkward. Yes. But here you can easily, you know. I like it. Yes, yeah. sir. And then, whoops, a little, uh, nice pantry right here with a couple pull out drawers. Another one here. Very good. And then a couple more drawers here. Nice. Over here on the island, a nice huge island. Double yes. Sink. And I love how they did this. Nice big sink here, and then a smaller one there. So if you prefer two bowls, you can use it. Right. That. So much better than like the double sinks that are even. Yeah, exactly. Like they don't need two sinks that are even. Right. Love the dishwasher. Yep. Fisher Pickel. Yes. And a nice uh, drawer right there. No more storage here. Yep. Oh, those are your inserts too. So this can all become a nice flat surface. Nice storage there. Hey, oh. that's a $104 trash can. Not in the DRV. Right, it might be 212. All right, cool. cool. Oh, plenty of power right here. Yeah, power and everything, cool. Up oh, will. Yeah. This does something. Oh, wow. It flips up this way probably? Does it? Or oh does no, it, it's just that's, lit up. Yeah. Okay, it looked like hinges. Okay. And then over here, well, this is a bath and a half. Yes. Here, this is where your stackable washer and dryer will go. Very nice. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna get that. <laughs> yeah. Storage right there. I was gonna say you could put like your laundry soaps and stuff, but nobody's ever getting up there. My hair's doing the big boy uh oh yeah curl. Right there. Nice little sink. Okay. Sink. Jeez. That's a little tight. Yeah. I mean, can't pass it. Can't you pass it. You or not? I mean, even if it was a hundred thousand dollars cheaper, I couldn't pass it. Yeah. I literally rub it up against the wall. Is that toilet something fancy or is it? It is. No, it's something fancy. Oh no, it's an electric flush. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. See some planes? Well, there was an Air Force base over there. Oh, really? Yep. We appreciate all our service members. Yes. Nice storage. A little coat closet. Yes, sir. Cool. Okay, it's getting starting to get a little bit better here. It is, yeah. This master bedroom's definitely where it's at. Nice king size bed. Yeah. Nice headboard. Very. I like that mattress a lot. Is it comfy? Yes, sir. Storage above there. 
side windows, nice headboard and everything. There's a bee flying around in here. A bee? Yeah, you see it? A Texas bee. Oh. We won't bother you, you don't bother us. <laughs> Storage underneath the bed. Cool, cool. And there was little... Uh, side table things. Yes. Right there. Okay, over here you got the TV. Little uh, DVD player there. Okay. In eight drawers. Very nice. Very nice. nice. Size drawers. Yep. Nice encore shower. Yeah. Oh. Time for the test. It's now time for the shower test. Okay, guys, this is an encore shower. You guys know encore always does it right. Yep. And um, plenty of width, plenty of depth. Nice little skylight here. And this does close up if you wanted it. Mm. Um, hopefully that doesn't like mold or something. Right, in right. The shower. Interesting. But this definitely passes. Bing! That's shower test seal of approval. That's right. Thank you, sir. Then over here we got our little uh little uh racks over here yeah, for like towels. Towel, whatever, yeah. Yep. Show oh. show what we got going on right there, Will. All right. Nice medicine cabinet right here. Good for all your medicines. Yes. Storage right here. What do we got right there? Sink or double bowl sink, and I do like these little faucets. The water like running up. Oh uh, yeah, they come up from the top. Solid surface, of course. A couple drawers. A little more storage there. Yep. Cool. Okay, it's now time for the toilet test part two. I hope they didn't mess this one up. Too. No, no. Okay, okay. It looked like it was gonna be closer yeah. than the one side. Yep, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. And then show that cedar line closet in there. Which yeah, is nice. I think that's cool because doesn't that like what does that help with? The smell or the <sighs> moths something. or something like, like moths that. Or something. Nice little safe in there. Okay. Um, yeah, good size closet in here. A couple drawers. Right there. Yep. Cool. It's all there. the extra chairs and blankets and all that. Yes, well, Will, um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch it up. Okay. We're going to do the MSRP. Okay. And then we're going to give you three things we like, and then three things we don't like. And I'm determining it that it's going in that order. Because okay. if you guys are seriously considering this, you got to hear our opinions on yeah. it. Yeah. Because it's an opinion-based show. That's right. Come on down, Will. Okay. I'm wearing my glasses. MSRP on this fifth wheel here is $223,463, Will, MSRP. Okay. Sale price, we are now partnered with RVR. We're not with RVR, we are partnered with RVR. So if you're interested in a DRV, go to matchrvreviews.com, fill out the contact form. We will then partner you with one of our partners of RVR. <laughs> Um, and help you get a great price on this DRV or any DRV. And the reason why I'm specifying that, guys, because when we give you likes and dislikes, we're not, I mean, we're a partnership. You know, we're, Matt's RV reviews is solo, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, it's we're going to be really solo here yeah, soon, I yeah. think. <laughs> <laughs> like, so uh, that's the MSRP. Will, let's give people three things we love about this unit. Okay. You go first. Okay, I have to go with this kitchen island. Yes. Um, I mean, this is a huge kitchen island. And overall, I actually think this kitchen looks really nice. It, and that backsplash. Yes, that backsplash. And the countertops look absolutely beautiful. Right, yeah, exactly. That's number one. Okay. Like number two for me, Will, is going to be in this master bedroom. Okay. They did the bedroom right. They did. Nice king size bed, good mattress, nice slide out, plenty of space and everything. They did this bathroom or this bedroom right. Yeah. And I think they did a fantastic job. Okay. That's number two. Do you have a number three? No, go ahead. Are you going that way? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm going this way as well. Okay. Number three is just this bathroom. It's not overboard. It's not the biggest bathroom, nope. but it's a big bathroom with a very nice shower. Um, the electric court, toilet, exactly, and all that, yeah. the nice sinks. And then I'll give you a fourth one. I feel like DRV's quality and reputation. Yes. This is our first time reviewing a DRV. Andre and I, we reviewed one at Motorhome Specialist a few weeks ago. Um, a few months ago now, probably. But this is Will and I's, and listen, DRV has that type of reputation where it's quality, it's the mobile suites, it's full timing. Yes. So um, the reputation's where it's at. Yeah. Great, so that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it, Will. I will let you go first on the inside and then I will touch on everything on the outside. Okay. 
on the inside. You do the inside. I'll do the outside. Okay. Dislike number one. Uh oh. You know what? We're not even gonna count the dislikes. <laughs> Just. This is a huge disappointment for me. What's that? Right here. Carpet and the floor vents. Right. At a quarter of a million dollars. What the heck's up with that? And again, guys, we're gonna we're gonna hit them hard. Extra with, hard. Extra hard with dislikes because the only reason we are is because they're hitting you extra hard on the price. Honestly. Right. You right. know what I mean? It's only fair. Yep. In my opinion. Yep. Hey. So we 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 call it as we see it. Yeah. That carpet is like, what the heck's going on? Right. It's unbelievable. Yep. You know. So and the floor vents. Yeah. Well, follow me. Okay. Okay. I am only saying this again because it's quarter of a million dollars. First, solid steps. Where's the hydraulic assist? Yep. We did the Tiffin about a week ago, the Beacon, and they at least gave you the hydraulic assisted steps, but they took off the hydraulic assist because they couldn't put it because of how yeah, it was set up. Was but here, room or here's their setup space. Yeah. So that doesn't make sense to me. What this is that? This is tacky. Yeah. Put a magnet or friction hinge door or something. These handles. Why aren't you painting over them? Yep. Quarter of a million dollars. Okay. No backup camera. What's yeah. up with that? I do like the Asdell. Good call of there. Of course. That's the worst of it all, I feel like. Right. Like. I mean, you know the full body paint job on here is probably twelve to 15,000 MSRP. It is a standard. It's not an option. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But again, right. they, they, how did you not paint that? Right. Like, it actually looked harder for you not to paint that than just painting it. Right, right. Like, they could have put it all in together and sent it to be painted. This way, they had to, like, cover it up and tape around it and like, everything. Like, the handles and everything. And again, yep. guys, none of this stuff should be a deal breaker to anybody. But, I mean... Yep. Oh, and 80 these grand clips cheaper. here, too. Right, like what's put up magnets. With that? Put magnets. Well, that's the review, guys. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. Do us the biggest favor ever, if you've never done us a favor. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know if you agree with us on our opinion of the DRV, or if you disagree with our opinion of the DRV. And here's what I want to say: It's easy for Will and I to say what we like and don't like about this unit, about this unit, about that unit. But we're not the ones putting out the checks. You know what I'm right. saying? We're not the ones buying it at the end of the day. And listen, when it comes to customer service, quality issues, everything, DRV does have one of the best reputations For of the sure. game. We have a friend that's about to buy a DRV, and we're not gonna, you know, sway him off a of DRV. It's a, it's a great unit. It's just for us, the way we look at RVs, we compare them to other brands, and you know, it just kind of is what it is there with that point. Well, is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah, of course. Yeah, guys, thank you so much. And to piggyback off what Matt said, it's we're always comparing it price point to price point. Yep. You know, is this worth the hundred thousand dollars more than X, Y, and Z? Yeah, whatever it is. Um, to some people it is, and other some, people it yeah, isn't. Exactly, exactly. That's what you have to weigh with something like this. Um, yeah, like Matt said, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know the three things you like, three things you dislike. Um, also, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time. time.